Hi everyone, this is Anna again uh, from English for IT for Brain TV. Let's take a look of list of topics that you should focus on when learning English. First of all, of course, it's grammar tenses. Uh, present perfect, present simple, past tenses, continuous tenses, all of those tenses you should focus on. They are important in your day-to-day -day communication. Second of all, um, IT professionals write a lot of reports and uh, the language for reports requires uh, passive voice usage. So focus on passive voice. Um, if you don't know what passive voice is, we will talk about it a little bit later. Uh, next, uh, you really want to know uh, adjectives, comparative forms of adjectives. When, for example, comparing different applications or comparing different processes of work. Another big thing in English grammar is modal verbs. Um, and of course, for IT, they are also important because you want to use modal verbs when you are given instructions, for example, given some advice or asking for help. And finally, I would say that conditional sentences would be a great plus uh, to know when you are, for example, writing an emails, when you are uh, talking to a customer, um, uh, talking about hypothetical situations, etc. Now let's get more specific about each of those topics. Uh, in IT, um, we all work on projects, right? Or products, for example. So uh, no matter what your job is in the company, you definitely uh, will want to describe your project or a product. So what kind of language should you use when talking about your project or the product that you're developing? Let's take a look. I think it won't be a secret that the majority of things we say in everyday communication, we will use a present simple tense or past simple tense when we talk about the past. So just imagine you're talking about the project that you're working on. What kind of tense are you going to use here mostly? Um, I guess you know the answer. It's going to be present simple. And how difficult is it to, uh, be, to be talking using present simple? I guess it's really easy. It's like for elementary student, right? Um, so, for example, you are talking about your project and you want to describe what kind of features or what kind of things it has, or you're talking about your product, um, again, uh, what it's like and what you can do with it, right? So, using present simple. Let me give you some examples of uh, uh, how you can talk about your project or a product uh, using present simple tense. For example, it monitors employees' activity. So the verb monitors is used in present simple. It is easy to use. And the last example, it helps to collaborate. We have just looked at the examples of present simple usage in active voice. Um, however, present simple can be also used in passive voice. And this is also important for us when, again, we need to talk about the project or a product that we're working on. Uh, let's take a look at more examples using a present simple in passive voice. For example, this device is manufactured in China. Let's take a look at the structure. Is manufactured. This is passive voice. And what is passive voice? Well, I can tell you that if you want to use um, a verb in passive voice, you should consider this structure. We use the verb to be, the main verb is used in past participle, or the third form of the verb, as we all uh, say. So just a heads up, uh, passive voice is used when we do not want to specify who is doing the action, when we would like to focus on the action itself. Um, sometimes we do not know who performs the action, that's why uh, passive voice is uh, necessary here. In IT, passive voice is really important. We describe a lot of things using passive voice in IT. Again, when you're talking about your project, you want to talk about the processes that are being done on the project. When, when talking about the product, you are talking about um, what the user should do or what should be done um, um, in order to use your product. And this is those are all the cases when you would use passive voice. I would like to give you more examples of how it can be used when talking about your project. Let's take a look. It can be used for internet communication. So can be used is an example of passive voice using a modal verb here. 
Uh, next, it is equipped with a signature recognition software. Is equipped is a simple present in passive voice. And finally, the cover is made of leather. Uh, is made. This is another example of passive voice. Considering the final example, the cover is made um, here, for example, it is not important for us who actually made this cover. However, we just want to uh, focus on the fact. That is why a passive voice is used in this case. And if you have a question, feel free to comment on this video. Take care. Goodbye.